Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, design, and DIY projects I do here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a balloon wall for your next Halloween party. Or it could be any kind of party, but for this particular video, it's going to be for Halloween. So if you would like to see how to create a balloon wall, please keep watching. I want to start this video by apologizing because normally I will be putting a list of all the supplies that you need for this video, but I completely forgot to take a picture of all the supplies. So all of the supplies will be in the description below, so make sure you go check it out. Step one is to blow up all of your balloons. Now I use two 72 count balloon bags from Party City. One was orange and one was black. So the total amount of 12 inch balloons that I used was 144. Since this was the first time I was doing the balloon wall, I wanted to track how long it would actually take me, so I ended up timing myself as I always do when it comes to doing things for the first time. I blew up all the balloons in 21 minutes now I ended up having extra that I thought I didn't need but actually towards the end of the video I ended up using every single one of the balloons so make sure you blow up all of them if you're gonna do a balloon wall like this this is probably the most balloons I've ever blown up and I've done some pretty big balloon garlands I mean look at my knee it's up to my knee practically. And it just keeps going up and up and up. Step two is to build your balloon stand. Now, balloon stands come pretty pricey. So I ended up finding a awesome tip. And I'm gonna share it with you right now. It is using Ikea floor lamp. I know, I know. Who would use a floor lamp as a stand? Well, the one thing about these Ikea floor lamps is that the cord doesn't come attached to the poles which is why you, it's easily used I needed two for the actual wall but because I wanted it pretty tall I had to buy a third one to add more height so you'll need three total they run about eight to ten dollars and I will link them in the description below
step three is to add balloons to the balloon stand. Now you're going to take two of your duplets and you're actually going to form a quad. And all you have to do is twist the balloons together. Any pattern doesn't matter because we want it to look as organic as possible. And then you're going to make sure that they're twisted about one or two times. And then you are going to place it directly on the pole and then twist it either to the right or to the left of where the balloon is in between the pole, if that makes sense. So once again, you're going to take two duplets, you're gonna make a quad, you're gonna push the quad right into the balloon, and then you're going to twist it around the pole and then push down on it. So that way there's less gap between the balloons and the quad. Make sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what other kind of decor, design, or DIY projects you guys are thinking. I mean, I have my own ideas, but I definitely want to know what you guys want to watch. Step five is you're going to blow up these 24 inch balloons. Now I'm letting you know right now, this is my first time messing around with 24 inch balloons and they are very intimidating, but they looked awesome on the wall. So it was worth it. Step six is to blow up nine inch or five inch balloons, but you're going to make them small. Now I'm using this cute little piggy that was given to me in my previous video from Likey. If you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, I will link it in the description below. There is a giveaway attached to that video, so make sure you go check it out and see what are the requirements to participate because it's not that much. You're probably already doing, you don't even know it. So that way um, at the end of the month, you can find out if you win or not. Step seven is creating a balloon garland. Now, of course, I'm using my fishing line. I've used it in probably every single video I've used balloons in. And this fishing line has lasted me a long time. So make sure you're tying a knot not too tight because what I tend to notice is that if you tie the fishing line pretty tight around these balloons, it will shrivel it. It won't really pop. I mean, they may pop, but it ends up being too tight around it. So I'm tie tying it a little delicately and then just adding the balloons on um, as I go. Step eight is to make 
sure you measure out your balloon garland mine was a little bit too tall and I ended up attaching it to the other columns with the fishing line I know, I know, I should stick to my day job. Anyways, step nine is to put the fishing line, um, attach it to your 24 inch balloon. Now make sure the fishing line is pretty long so that way you have a lot of room to add it around the balloons on the column or on the wall. Step 10 is to add glue dots to your 5 inch and 9 inch balloons and add them to all the gaps on the balloon wall. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Make sure to let me know 